Shown at the top of the slide is the approximation for EX at the surface of the ground that we just developed. We end up using these EXs along the bottom of the grid when we update the HYs that are one half of a cell above the EXs. At the bottom of the slide, I put the regular updating equation for the HY components. So this is the regular update in the grid. Let's consider this regular update equation applied to the HYs one half of a cell above the ground. For these HYs, in place of H, e, the EX that's below, that would be this component at K instead of K plus 1, we should plug in this expression that we came up with for the EXs along the bottom of the grid. This is that same update equation for HY just above the surface of the ground after we plug in the expression for the EXs. So this is the, these are the two terms. And we're just multiplying both by 1 over delta Z since that's required uh, for each of the EXs. At this point, all we really need to do is simplify this expression. For example, we need to move all the future H values to the left side. Uh, for example, this one right here is a future value, so we'd need to move this one to the right to the left side, as well as this one to the left side. And that way we can keep all the previous values of HY on the right side. Ultimately, once we simplify the expression and solve for the future HY value, we get what's shown on this slide. This means that to implement an SIBC, the only thing we need to do is change DA and the DB coefficients for the HY fields one half of a cell above the surface of the ground. So that would be at K equals 1, and I'll specify in our MATLAB code since the indexing starts uh, at k equal 1. Of course, you may be saying, but look, there are only three E fields in this update and not four. And we need to account for this in the update of the HYs just above the surface of the ground. But in the FDTD grid, since the EXs right now on the bottom of the grid are initialized to zero and they stay zero throughout the simulation, we don't need to worry about deleting the EX components in, this, in the HY update equation for k equals 1. So if we apply a regular HY update, we're going to have e minus EX i plus 0.5 at k times sub n, but those in the grid are just going to be equal to zero. If you're in the 6340 version of this course, go ahead and implement this SIBC along the ground of your model. Run the simulation with the conductivity set to 0.01 Siemens per meter and create a one-dimensional plot of the max EZ fields at the surface of the Earth and overlap your results for the SIBC, this SIBC, versus the previous result we got for the PEC ground so that we can see the impact of the ground on the propagating fields. If you're in 5340, you do not need to go through this exercise.